my name is Eleni A. Rodriguez. I'm seven years old. Today, I'm going to do my fifth grade science experiment portfolio, mixing substances. But before we do it, we have to gather our materials. Our materials are baking soda, water, vinegar, vegetable oil, olive oil, milk, orange juice, lemonade, and apple juice. A notebook and a pencil so that we can write our observation. Before we begin the experiment, let's go over some safety rules. Rule one, do not touch any chemicals or lab equipment without your teacher telling you. Rule two, do not work in the laboratory without your teacher. Rule three, always read and follow directions. Rule four, Always be alert and cautious. That means no sleeping in the laboratory or eating or drinking in the laboratory. Rule five, before working with chemicals, read the label carefully. Do not mix any chemicals without your teacher telling you. Rule six, if there are leftover chemicals, do not put it back into the container, throw it away. Rule seven, Always wear goggles, laboratory gown, and shoes when doing an experiment. Rule eight, always tie your hair before doing an experiment. Rule nine, examine glassware. Do not use cracked test tubes or beakers. Rule 10, if an accident occurs, do not panic. Alert your teacher right away. For today's experiment, we are going to find out how different substances react with each other when they are combined. Remember that the formation of bubbles, change in color, or a change in temperature are signs that a chemical change has occurred. Chemical change is a process that changes the chemical makeup of a substance. Before I start, I am going to put on my goggles. What do you think will happen if I add baking soda into the water? Let's find out. No reaction at all. I'm going to steer to see if it dissolves. It dissolved. As I added baking soda into the water, the water did not produce any bubbles, meaning it did not produce a new substance. The baking soda dissolves in the water as I steer it, so I am going to use the water as a control to compare substances that does not produce a new substance. Let's move on. Oops, I forgot to write down my observation. Remember that after you're done experimenting, always write your observation right away so that you don't have to forget later. Let me write that. No reaction. Okay, now let's move on. What will happen if I add baking soda into the vinegar? Let's find out. Super cool. I'm going to write down a lot of bubbling. So when I added the baking soda into the vinegar, 
it produced a lot of bubbles, meaning the acid in the vinegar reacts with the baking soda to produce carbon dioxide gas. So I will use the vinegar as a control to compare substances that produce a new substance. By using a control, I will be able to compare my results to determine what kind of combinations produce new substances. Now, I am going to investigate how baking soda reacts with different liquids, such as vegetable oil, olive oil, milk, orange juice, lemonade, and apple juice. I will add one teaspoon of baking soda to each liquid to look for bubbles. The formation of bubbles is one sign that a chemical change has occurred. Now I am going to add one teaspoon of baking soda to all the liquids, but first I am going to add it to the vegetable oil. Remember that to write all your observations. Now let's get started. Okay, let's get this one. No reaction, it didn't dissolve. But let's spin it to see if it dissolves. It is not dissolving at all. Okay, I'm gonna write down no reaction. Now, let's do the olive oil. It, it did not bubble up. Let's, I'm going to spin it to see if it dissolves. It did not dissolve at all. There was no reaction on the olive oil and it did not dissolve. Let's move on to the milk. Okay. Let's see. I can't see anything, but it I don't it um I don't I don't see anything. The, the baking soda is white and the milk is white, white, but, um, is it, um, I don't see any appearances. Okay. No reaction. No bubbles. I'm going to say it dissolved. Okay, let's move on to the orange juice. It bubbled a little, but not that much. Okay, now let's move on to the lemonade. Let's see what happens. Whoa, it bubbled up. Cool, oh no, not again. Not like the vinegar. At least it bubbled. It did not like the vinegar. It bubbled so much. Hmm. 
the lemonade reacts to the baking soda just like the vinegar. Let's move on to the apple juice. Uh, it, tiny bubbles came out, but I'm going to spin it just to, to, just to make sure. Uh, it, tiny bit bubbled. Let me spin it some more. Kinda bubbled, but a tiny bit bubbled, just like the orange juice. Okay, okay. In conclusion, the combinations that bubbled must have produced new substances, such as the orange juice, lemonade, and apple juice. Since they have the same results, this means that each of these liquids contains a similar kind of substance that reacts with the baking soda. And as you can see, that the orange and the apple juice produce a little bubble. This means that a small amount of gas was created, and the lemonade has a lot of bubbles indicate that a large amount of gas was produced. While the combination that did not bubble did not produce a new substance, such as the vegetable oil, olive oil, and milk. Since they have the same results, this means that each of these liquids contains a similar kind of substance that did not react with the baking soda. If you're not satisfied with your result, you can repeat your experiment again. Thank you for watching. Bye!